key to how I cook rice is um, it's rinsed and dried. I sprinkle it in. And I want you all to be very quiet. That's a good sound. And then I want you all to pay attention to your noses. You see how that first smell was uh, just of the, the butter. That's all you could smell. We're going to let the dry rice saute. And uh, the reason why I do this is it kind of caramelizes the rice on the outside. Plus it locks and seals some of the starch. So when it's cooked fully, it won't be mushy. Um, now I'm not going to say you can do this technique and then add as much water as you want or as much stock as you want because it's still not going to work. But um, this helps for each individual grain to still stay independent. So, okay. Now I want you to listen. If I can get it to go off. It kind of smells like, or it sounds like teeny tiny popcorn. If you can hear it. Okay. And it smells differently. You guys can see it. Okay. I'm losing some of the popping sound. But you see how it's just, just slightly popping, just a little bit. Um, that's a good thing. That's what you want. That's when you know that it is time for you to add your um, stock broth water, whatever you so choose. So we have some house-made chicken broth. that we're going to add. And then we turn it down once it comes to a boil like it already has. And when you're cooking two grains in one pot, you need to be careful about the cooking time, obviously. Brown rice cooks a lot slower than quinoa does. So um, this brown rice is going to take about 20 minutes, and the quinoa only takes between 10 and 15 minutes. So just set your timer in your house, and um, add the quinoa in it at the respectable time. So I'm going to find a lid and cover this and let it do its thing. Okay, now have your smellers out. Um, are all of you smelling that lovely applewood smoked uh, something? Anybody smelling this? Perfect. We're going to check it. We're going to see what's going on in here. Okay. Now, if you can see this, you can see just a little bit of uh, fluid kind of coming out of the beef. This is a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and turn him over and seal him back up. Now, if uh, you would like to come up and talk about the next wine, that we're going to be featuring. I think that it's going to go absolutely brilliant with the beef ribs and um, it'll, it'll complement everything very well. It has a little bit of the coffee flavor in it, um, but yet it can support the port salute that we're going to use in a, in a quick uh, finishing sauce. All right?